what's uh, remarkable about Virgin Galactic? I, I think that that is just a fascinating question because today uh, there are few visionaries uh, that are able to truly see things outside the box. This company, uh, Virgin Galactic, is led by one of the true visionaries of our time, Richard Branson. He is a, a person that sees the importance of connecting people on the ground with outer space. And be, he wants to develop a pipeline of being able to get people not outside of the government or uh, public sector into outer space so that they can develop technologies that will complement everybody here on this earth. And one of them has to do with architecture. So how, how it is that we work together uh, here on earth as well in outer space. Um, there aren't very many companies uh, in the public sector that are doing ventures to take people to outer space. And that is probably the most fascinating thing about this company. They're able to do it. They've taken on the challenge. They've thought outside the box in order to be able to uh, take a people to outer space cost effectively and most importantly, safely. That is uh, what's fascinating about this company. Our hopes are very, very high on how it is that we can work together with companies such as Virgin Galactic. Uh, for now, I think that in the support facilities that are necessary to support uh, operations in space is really where I see where we could intersect and be able to work together. Uh, our experience as architects and aviators, uh, uh, I think is a, a tremendous match that helps us understand the needs of operations such as Virgin Galactic, such as was the case with NASA. You know, now today we've been involved with NASA for 18 years in offering our services in the design of their facilities because we understand what it is that they need on the ground to support the facilities in outer space. So uh, in the same way, that is how I see us being able to support Virgin Galactic as they grow, as they get bigger, as they have bigger needs uh, for their personnel to operate in the ground. Yes, I think that uh, truly our, our you know, expertise uh, while working for agencies such as NASA uh, complement uh, the services that we could uh, provide for Virgin Galactic as it grows. Uh, on the Earth, we'll have mission control facilities that we can design for them. Uh, we can also have f maintenance facilities, support facilities, where actually uh, these support facilities contribute to the personnel on the ground that are supporting spaceships and uh, possibly operations that are uh, occurring in orbit. Uh, some of these uh, could be orbiting hotels, could be orbiting laboratories. Uh, these are facilities that will require a ground crew to be able to maintain them and support them from the Earth. Uh, that is what we do now for NASA. We design those facilities, everything from hangars, laboratories, mission control buildings, support facilities. And all of these facilities that we design are critical in the support of the space station uh, in the past, uh, the uh, space shuttle, uh, and uh, future uh, uh, space uh, operations that are going to be occurring. Um, uh, that is the kind of experience that we have right now and that we could offer and work together with uh, Virgin Galactic.